Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to be doing a kitchen uh, sort of rewire uh, as we speak at the minute. So me and Kian came in yesterday, stripped all the kitchen out, um, so it's all nicely done. So we've got an empty space. Um, so in here, we've only got a spur for this socket, which is original, and a spur for what was the dishwasher. So it's not good enough. We haven't. We've got basically need to upgrade it. Um, so I'm going to show you where the board is, and the plan is that we're going to try and go underneath the floor because I'm going to put uh, a new kitchen ring in here um, because we obviously haven't got anything. Um, so if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. Link is in one of the corners. Let's get this channel to grow. So right, let's show you that board. So, so far we've lifted up some of the boards. We found another, um, another circuit here, but I don't actually know. We've tested it, it tested out okay, but that goes back to the board. So we've located that. So in here, um, so there's been solar put in and battery storage and all the rest of it, but we found that cable there. This one is that one where Kean's leg is down there. Um, and that's fine. So we've got an 18th edition board on. It's a split load board, plenty of spare ways. So the idea is, is that we're gonna try and take this bit out. So I'm gonna take this unit out. Um, and hopefully going to fish underneath the flooring here, underneath that cupboard um, in this bit because the floor is all new and we don't want to be taking that up. So that's the, the idea. So at the minute, we're just trying to lift and get a plan back there. So kitchen layout itself, we've got fridge going in here and then there's tall larder units all the way along this bit. Um, and then within the larders, they've got like a, a pull out work top area so we're going to have a socket here socket there socket there and then on this side we sinks going back in this corner um, instant boil going in and then we've got a washing machine or yeah washing machine then dishwasher going here then a hob uh, and then a like a stepped in unit there so we've got our oven already in there and we're going to drag that one back that way so there's quite a lot going on in a little room um, there's under cabs as well going in uh, along along this side there's under cabs this is going to be bricked up bricked I mean blocked up sorry um, so that's that bit sorted and then there's plinth lights going to go in uh, along here going to be on both sides on there so yeah quite a lot to do um, so we'll get cracking lifting up the rest of this floor and uh, yeah, see where see where we're at. See if we can see if we can do it. Okay, so Kean's just trying to get a route back that way. So he's got the brightest light. It's like you've got the sun in there, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so Kean's going to come out with a nice big fat tan. Um, so what we've done here is we've loosened this off uh, up there and obviously down at that point. So because you've got cables that run through the unit there, we're not gonna take that all off. So what I'm trying to do is lever it this way a slight bit, if that makes any sense. So we're gonna probably rod from, from Kean's end to try and get down here, because there's quite a, a void. I don't know whether you can see that or not, but it might help. Um, so. It's quite a void you see already down there. So if we can get the rod to there, we might be able to do a little cheeky hook a duck uh, and get, get that through. But we want to be pulling the cables all in one go. They want to be doing that multiple times. So so yeah, so that's where where we're at at the minute. So because these boards as well where Kean is, they run all the way through. Um, so he's gonna have to cut through those anyway, so. But yeah, so I don't know whether I mentioned it before as well, we've got um, the instant boil as well going on there uh, and the water stop tap doesn't work so we're going to have to turn that off and put a new one in. So yeah, so that's where we are at at the minute. Okay, so we've got the rod through, the rod's all the way back through to the board. So because we don't want to be then rerouting the rod again and again and again, um, we've already cut off a load of two and a half mil um, because like I said, we're going to put a ring in and I've also decided to put another hob circuit in. It's an induction hob going in, and I have found another six mil, 
but I just want to make sure because I've got to extend it because we found it underneath the board as I showed you but um, I've got to extend it anyway so I might as well just put a new one in and then I know that for me personally it's all brand new um, so yeah so me and Kian are going to get this all dragged in in one go that's the plan anyway Okay, but if you pull that. You got it there, yeah? So. Right, I'm going to show you down where Kean is. Okay, so we've we've gone um, up to here now. So that for right now, all I need to do is make sure I've got these cables that are long enough to go inside the board, uh, and then we can leave that well alone. Dress it all in nicely. Try and make it all all work. But we can put the unit back um, once we've pulled all those in and reroute it where where needs to be. But I think that's a bit of a result, to be honest, to getting those in. And then what we're going to do is where they come underneath the joists. So underneath there, we're going to keep them off the floor by putting a bit of banding strap underneath and then just holding them all up. And then we could start rattling through. Okay, so we've got a bit of a dilemma. So the customer is outside on the phone trying to make a bit of a decision on what to do. So we've run the ring. So we've got the ring to here. So back to the board where Kean is and we've gone down up down up down there's going to be sink unit with the instant boil going in there and then we've got our three drops ready to go into the units there so we've also dropped in a new hob circuit which is fine so we've got all these bits and bobs to take care of now isolate that off uh, and then we're good to go so now we're talking about the down lights and stuff okay so the down lights are here going down and also then running down uh, down to the hallway. So as it stands right now, there's no path all the way through. So now I've just pointed out to the customer that your down lights all the way down, they don't line up at all. Um, never noticed it before. <laughs> uh, I feel pretty bad now, but he's never noticed it until I've just pointed it out. And now he's like, well, actually that sucks. So, these to be in the center these lights now to be in the center of this room bearing in mind there's tower units going in all the way along they need to move over about 100 mil and then we need to line them all up it's a bit of a, a bit of one of those so we're now in discussions on whether we're taking down this ceiling above my head um all the way through because there's no separation all the way down the landing so yeah jobs just changed slightly so because really there's a few little cracks basically there's one there it's up there you probably won't be able to see it to be honest and it's another little hairline one there near that one um I, there's not much movement i think personally that will get away with just you know raking out filling uh and then painting over but somewhere on the line someone's took all the wood chip off the ceiling and then skimmed it all which is brilliant but then they stopped here so the rest of the hallway is all like that so it's all a bit of a bit of a nightmare isn't it mate so we're not really sure what we're doing at the minute so we're just holding fire because if that's the case if that is coming down we need to sort of crack on with it um like yesterday really so bear with me and we'll have a little update shortly okay jury's in and and ceiling's coming down um so we haven't got enough dust sheets to cover all of the oak and leading into the open plan living room so we're going to pack up now go home have a mardi have a little sulk in the van um and be back tomorrow not really not really we're not really going to sulk off no we are going to be back tomorrow though to be fair doing it um but we're actually going to go off and now look at another job anyway on the way home so we're just going to put the boards down for this evening um because obviously we're going to be pulling some of those back up tomorrow so doing it this way is actually going to be a little bit better um because I can then move all the light positions around. I'm gonna get rid of all the wireless switching, should we say, for 
um, the undercabs and the plinth lights by doing it this way because then I can then put a loop feed down to the light switch and then do it all from there so we're a bit jazzy so like I say that's what I'm up to and that is what we're going to do so we shall see you next